The porcupine is misleading with its appearance because its quills beckon to itself to stroke them. This is a joke, of course. Sometimes it seemed that rodents were specially created in order to spoil the lives of people. Mice undermine our economy through the destruction of provisions. Rats have been carrying dangerous diseases for centuries. And crested porcupines, for example, injure people, beat against cars and kill lions. And not only lions, now you will see for yourself. Yes, the same porcupine that everyone has ever seen in documentaries about animals is called crested. It lives on the plains of North and Equatorial Africa, India and also in Italy. It was brought to Italy by the ancient Romans. What for? Well, how do you say it? The giant pancred is amazing. We remind you just in case, hedgehogs and porcupines have nothing to do with each other. Porcupines are rodents and hedgehogs are insectivores. By the way, the king of France, Louis XII, chose not a lion, not a tiger, not even a wolf, but a porcupine as his symbol. What does it mean? If anyone knows, please answer in the comments. Well, dear friend, are you afraid to meet a huge rodent that roams Africa and scares the big wild cats? If not, then subscribe to the channel and let's get started. The crested porcupine is one of the three largest rodents in the world. Its weight can reach up to 30 kilograms, and its body length can reach up to 70 and even 90 centimeters. Porcupines are herbivores. Without a twinge of conscience, they eat fruits, leaves and bark. And once on a farm plantation, the porcupine will massacre all the fruits and shoots. He especially likes to eat pumpkin, zucchini and watermelons. But he can not only gnaw watermelons and melons, but also greatly spoil the earth, digging it up. Barriers do not always save crops from porcupine raids, because the powerful and sharp incisors of this rodent allow it to gnaw through even wire mesh. And porcupines often bite the hoses of the irrigation system to drink water. And who's going to stop them? The porcupine is capable of killing even a lion with squills, to say nothing of unfortunate farmers. Out of 40 big cats attacking a porcupine, 10 will die for sure. Although, as noted above, porcupines do not like meat, they often chew the bones they find in order to sharpen their teeth with their help. Rodents get important minerals from bones such as salt and calcium. From time to time, porcupines can also eat small bugs and lizards. But the most important thing is that they turn their punk hair into a full-fledged weapon. Yes, porcupine quills are wool, but just very and very tough. Porcupine quills are of two types. The first, long and flexible, reach a length of 40 centimeters. The second are shorter and harder, only 15 to 25 centimeters long. An already rather big rodent turns into a dangerous machine for destroying enemies. But the porcupine never attacks first. In the event of a threat, the animal first stamps its feet and crackles loudly with needles. A frightening sound is obtained, like a motorcycle is starting, scaring away the predator. But if that doesn't work, then arrows come into action. Unlike hedgehogs, whose quills are firmly attached to the body, porcupines easily part with their quills. A careless predator, as a result of an unsuccessful attack, can easily get several hundred needles that will remain sticking out in his body. And in place of the lost needles, porcupines will soon grow new ones. According to various sources, a porcupine, on average, changes several thousand of its quills during its life. In short, a porcupine is capable of making a kind of pincushion out of a predator. 
The needles enter the body so deeply that they touch the vital organs. And this is just the beginning. If the surviving predator fails to pull out the quills of the porcupine, this predator will most likely die. The fact is that having run into porcupine quills, pulling them out just like that will not work. You haven't forgotten that their spikes are wool, right? So both in us and in porcupines the hair is covered with scales. This is what a porcupine quill looks like under a microscope. So the quills of the porcupine turn into improved arrows. They go easily in but come out with hellish pain. And if the needle is not pulled out, it will penetrate the body itself. With each movement the victim drives it deeper. And all this again because of these ill-fated scales. Numerous wounds cause inflammation, the needle is pain. A variety of bacteria accumulate on their needles, so a prick with a porcupine needle can easily lead to a serious illness. The predator, exhausted by suffering and ulcers, becomes weak. It can no longer hunt its main prey. Therefore, leopards, lions and other predators switch to more defenseless rations. Adult predators avoid porcupines. All the animals of Africa are aware that the porcupine is a deadly spicy food. But young, unexperienced predators very often run into needles and learn a valuable lesson. Don't touch this hedgehog rat. The spiny rodent is hunted exclusively in cases where no other prey can be found. For example, in the drier regions of Africa, there the porcupine becomes prey three times more often. But all the same, the predator that killed the porcupine and quenched the feeling of hunger with its flesh eventually dies after a while, although well fed. By the way, with regard to porcupine quills, in large adults the number of needles on the body can reach up to 30,000 pieces. No wonder that from such protection the porcupine lost all vigilance, which is why he himself is now suffering. Giant rats accustomed to special treatment from the local fauna are not afraid to roam the roads and farms. The logic is simple, everyone avoids them so people will too. Alas, the rodent does not know about the existence of firearms and cars and more and more often dies from a bullet or under the wheels. However, they continue to cling to life with admirable tenacity. Until the age of 2 to 3 years, males and females play hard-nosed social phobes and stay away from any other members of their species. And then a spark, a storm, madness, a joint mortgage for life and several generations of children. If the North African populations still somehow restrain their love impulses, then the South African ones manage to make 2 to 3 broods of children in one year. And this is during pregnancy for a period of 110 days. Fortunately, youth care is minimal. Babies are born sighted, toothy and quite mobile. After two weeks, their soft fur turns into hard spines. At the same time, the mother stops feeding its children with milk, because no one likes a punctured belly. So our estimate for crested porcupines is 33 misfortunes. That is how many problems they can bring in 15 to 20 years of their lives. In general, they are cool guys, but also dangerous. There is an opinion that the porcupine is not a very friendly animal. Therefore, it is officially accepted that porcupines cannot be tamed and domesticated. But this turns out to be outdated information. Some people keep porcupines as pets. From childhood, porcupines are tamed so well that they follow their master like dogs. It's just a pity that they cannot be stroked and hugged. You can only hug porcupine cubs when their quills are still soft. And people who care for porcupines all say that porcupines are very cunning, smart, gluttonous and terribly greedy. Жадные. Жадные. Ужасно жадные. 
but despite the many disadvantages, it is beneficial to be friends with a porcupine. For example, if you want to go swimming in the river in the summer, but you don't have friends, then you can easily take a porcupine with you. Porcupines are excellent swimmers. Their needles are hollow inside, and the air they contain helps keep them afloat, so the needles act as floats. By the way, you can also make a float for a fishing rod from a porcupine needle and catch fish. The porcupine is a fairly clean animal. Those species that live in holes always equip themselves with a cozy bed of grass and from time to time renew the bed. And some of the species even know how to climb trees. In particular, the Philippine porcupine is capable of this. In another way, it is also called Palawan porcupine. Well, basically that's the whole story. You now know the main essence of this animal. Well, we do not say goodbye to you, but as always, see you soon.